Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan and today we are in a new MUK Tips and Tricks. Today we will talk about uh, a note that most of people do not care about uh, and how can we deal it in order to grade these two footages. If we have a look here, we have one lovely uh, cloud as we see here and another one that's really not, uh, not looking cool. And we want to take this look, this gradient, in order to take it over that one. Using our new node here, or it's not new, but uh, most of people do not use it as I said before. So let's have a look here at the color lookup. Color lookup node here. Let's plug it here. Let's have a look. Uh, if you used before uh, After Effect, it's the same uh, as the curve effect. So if we have everything here having this curve, we have a master that having a look over the whole uh, video or the whole photo you have, and you have also the red, green, blue, and alpha. So I have here five different curves. Then, if you have a look at the master for, for example here, uh, you can take any point from 0 to 1 by clicking Control Alt click or um, why it doesn't work. Control or click and then you have a point that you can take up for example if we have a look like this okay and for example I want to go to the red and tick another point and just increase the red a little bit like this or lower the, the funny thing here are they amazing thing here that you have different curves different effect as you want no one will affect the other so i have here a different curve for the master and another curve for the red i wanted to get back just click reset or you can go back here to reset every curve you have in this color lockup okay also, when I pick my mouse going everywhere in this cottage, I have three um, three bars here, the green, red, and blue, that are dancing on the screen as we see here. It means that it tells you whichever pixel I put in, you have different information for every pixel. So, if I stop here, this the data of this were here, here, there, and anywhere. I can use this for example to click Control Shift and take pick any any piece of uh, information. They will stop here. They will tell you that at this pixel you have this data of the red and blue and green. So I can pick here for example for the red okay Control all click here. Come on. Yes. And for example, increase it or lower it. And I'm sure of the information at this point. Okay. Of course, it will affect all the image. So let's. After we have a look for the color lookup, let's take this node in order to correct the other one here. For example, so we have here this ugly look and I don't want it. I just need to be look like this lovely cloud. How to do this? We can use this using the source and the target inside color lookup. So I have here this is the source. Let's pick number three 
here. So I have one, two for the color lookup, three for the original cloud. Okay. So my source here will be this one. Okay, the color lookup. So I'll take the source here and uh, change it into the target here. Very important point is to notice that if you choose the highlight here to the, for example, the shadow here, you will have a very different results, very ugly results. So it's very important to match the shadow to the shadow, the highlight to the highlight the midtones to the midtones suppose that you don't know or you're not sure about everything of your photo here or your uh, file what to do actually you can um, uh, um, use the where is it yes color correction a very lovely feature in the color correction mode here is that when you pick it to uh, any file, you can come here and have a look at the ranges and you will have a look at which in this file, where is the midtones, the shadow and the highlight. So, for example, if I come to the midtones, okay, so this is the midtones. So when I come, for example, here, see, it tells you that this is at the midtones. If you come here, okay, if you come here, see, so here at the highlight. So I am here at the highlight. Uh, here, uh, I'm about to come closer to the shadow. Okay, so I am here at the midtones. Here, here, see? So you can know where you are very, very easy using the color correction. That's, of course, if you don't know by eye. But by experience, you will know it easily. So let's go back here to our color correction. And let's pick the source. So let's take the source, for example, for the midtones. Uh, very carefully here and pick the home the viewer and let's go to the target okay and pick another one for the midtones I think this one will be good so control shift drag okay let's go back to our color correction and just uncheck this color pick in order not to make anything wrong okay now it has some samples and then just click set RGB wow voila now we have a very nice look so let's have a look at the difference so we have two and three this is the original and this after getting the color look now I, I want to get also this lovely highlight. So in order to take it, just go first to our color lookup and let's take the highlight. I guess here is the very bright point here. So let's come closer and pick it. For example, let's take this bright one. I think this is good. Okay, the end of you are. And let's go back to number one. And of course, we have a lovely highlight over there. Let's pick some of that. Mm, let's take this one. Go back. And let's go to color look up here. Okay. And then sit our See? So if we have here a look without width and without the color lookup. So we can use the color lookup in order to get a matching for the gradient to get the lovely grade over your photo. Of course, you will, you will have something that's really close. So I have here two different images for clouds. So 
I can easily use the color lookup. Okay, so um, one last thing to tell you is that if you have something, for example, um, with P multiplied, something like a plane, for example, something like have different edges, okay, not like this. If you have a, a pre multiplied image and you want to match it with another one, don't forget to use this option here in order to get rid of the black edges. So you will have black edges, so you can use the pre multiplied by alpha in order to get rid of these edges. I hope you like this tip today and you will meet again in a new nook tip and tricks. See you in FX Studio. I am Heba Hassan. See you next time. Bye bye.